Hi everybody, Mike here again, and today I wanna to show you how you can use Padlet, the digital platform that works as a bulletin board, and how you can record yourself on Padlet to put up a flip lesson or just a pre-recorded mini lesson onto other platforms such as Google Classroom. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do when you're recording on Padlet is log in. And after you log in, you may need to create a Padlet, right? Uh, if you make a Padlet, you may want to think about the different kinds of layouts that will work for your class. Some of these are good for content areas. Grid and shelf tend to be good for classes if you want to put more than one subject or more than one day's worth of work on it. I've already started a Padlet, and I'll just add to it. This is the start of one Padlet I have. And to record yourself, uh, you know, maybe recording a flip mini lesson or a pre-recorded mini lesson. You want to go down to one of your columns and uh, maybe we'll add a new column and we'll call this, you know, mini lesson for April 8th. And we'll save it. And you add something and you look down to this menu of options for things to upload and you'll click the ellipses. And you'll scroll down to film. You can also just record your voice for those of us. <laughs> Maybe you're having a bad hair day or you just don't feel like showing your face. It's still nice for kids to hear your voice. You can record audio instructions here, but today we will film ourselves. And so that looks like this. Gives you some instructions. You can be up to five minutes long. That is quite nice because that can encourage us to keep our, our flip mini lessons brief. Let's get it done. And then you can look at the different times, types of things like you rec record yourself on. And it looks like I'm gonna go with what they say. All right, so here I go. And I click record and I might say today and every day, writers or readers, whenever you are doing this thing, blah, blah, blah. And then you show a demonstration. Maybe you are just talking to kids or showing a piece of work. Um, those are all things that you can do. And then when you're finished with your mini lesson, you'll of course end by saying today and every day class and for the rest of your life, do this thing. And also do it today. Look on Padlet for some more details. When you're finished with recording, press pause recording, and then you can discard and restart. Say the dog barked or your kid ran into the room or you burped in the middle of your teaching point. You might need to start over. I'm gonna go with playback and save. I can watch it and listen to it good. So I you know, already titled it. That's, you know, mini, le whatever it is, reading workshop, writing workshop, mini lesson for four, eight, 20, what have you. Click save, it'll be done in a jiffy and this will upload to this platform. And then students can click on this video. Uh, and in addition to whatever written instructions or tools, or other materials or other uploads that you put on the Padlet. Uh, families and students have been giving us feedback saying that, you know, any more, you know, instruction or direction around what it is that you're asking us to do can be really helpful. So there it is. And you can even write another message. You know, good morning, class. You know, there it is. Bada bing, bada boom, you're done you have recorded a flip mini lesson. Now let's say you wanna put this up to, uh, you wanna put this up to your Google Classroom because you've been mostly working on a Padlet. You can go here, you can create a new assignment, right? And then you could say it's the reading workshop mini lesson for four, eight, 20, et cetera. Um, click the link to the Padlet watch the video, get started reading and jotting, have fun, blah, 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 whatever it is. And you can add a link, you're adding this link, and now kids can click there, and you have got a flip mini lesson that fits with what it is, that you wanted to do. And perhaps you're using Padlet because it's a platform that you are more familiar with. And now students, when they're looking at the lesson, they can click on it and they can see 
the Padlet that you made. Here it is. So links work. Here we are. And we're finished. It's that simple. So you might use Padlet. If that is a platform that you're already familiar with, you can record yourself right on it. And you can link your Padlet to your Google Classroom if you're using that as a main platform in your district. Good luck toying around with all these digital platforms.